It is extremely important to correctly connect the current transformers, or also known as CTs, when installing your new TED system. Please use extreme care when connecting them since it is very easy to incorrectly install them. Each CT will have a red polarity dot. When clipping the CT into the conductor, the red dot should be facing the source of power. If you are installing a 200 or 400 amp TED system, you will simply connect each of the three CTs as shown directly into the MTU. The A phase CT will plug into the MTU in the slot closest to the power supply plug. The B phase CT will plug in the middle slot and the C phase CT will plug into the slot closest to the edge of the MTU. If you are installing an 800 amp or 1200 amp TED system, your kit will come with three CT adapter harnesses. Each harness will have a small black loop jumper connected to one of the connectors. Let's go through the 800 amp setup and then we'll go through a 1200 amp setup as well. For the 800 amp system, lay out your three harnesses. One harness is for phase A CTs, one is for phase B CTs, and the third is for phase C CTs. Note that one end of the harness will plug directly into the MTU and the other connectors will connect to CTs. You will want to be sure the jumper is connected to the last connector in the harness. You should have a total of six CTs, two for phase A, two for B, and two for C. Connect two CTs to each harness. Pay very close attention to the orientation of the connector. It is very easy to make a mistake. The connector on the CT will have a lip, and you may have to look at the connector sideways to visually see the lip. The lip should go under the roof looking part of the harness connection, so that when inserted, the lip locks in place underneath the roof looking part. Now that you have the CTs connected to the three harnesses, Clip the CTs over the corresponding phase conductors. In other words, the two CTs on the A harness will connect on the A phase conductors. Then, you will connect the two CTs for the B phase onto the B phase conductors. Then, connect the remaining two CTs for C phase over the remaining C conductors. For a 1200 amp system, you will have nine CTs. The installation is exactly the same, however, you need to remove the black loop jumper. Connect three CTs to each adapter harness, paying particular attention to how the connectors connect. The lip should always be placed under the roof. Once you have correctly connected the CT connectors to the harness and clipped the CTs around the correct phase conductors, you can then connect the harness to the MTU. Be certain that the harness with the ACTs is connected to the MTU in the slot closest to the power supply. The B harness will plug into the middle slot and the C harness will plug into the slot closest to the edge of the MTU. Notice that the MTU harness connectors also have a lip and roof connection. Be sure these are correctly installed.